Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name is Stacy, and we do cozy crochet content here. So if you're new here, um, thank you for being here and trying out this channel. And if you are not new here, thank you for coming back again. So this week's video is late and a little different than usual because we finally had our crochet retreat that we have been talking about since April or May. So it has been a long time coming and we're just, we, I just can't even believe it was here already. It seemed like it took forever to get here, but then, it, then again, it was like, you know, the next day and then it's already over. So, um, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. So I'm going to cover a few things on this video. One is all the stuff I made before I left. And then I'm going to talk about the retreat and show you some of the sneak peeks of the things that we got to do on the retreat, some of the stuff other people made, and then I'm going to hop back in and show you all the things that I made while I was on the retreat and then talk about um, future retreats. So if that interests you, stick around. So before I went on the retreat, obviously I had some things to do to prepare for the retreat, but I did manage to make some inventory. I stayed I had my focus list and I tried to just like come home and be like, okay, this is my focus list. What's on here that sounds um, exciting tonight and just changing out my yarn bag and just trying to switch things up. So I will go over some things that I made before I left. So um, I made one Fred the Turtle. This is Burnett Blanket Yarn. This pattern is by CJ Design. I do modify several things about this pattern. Um, so if you make it, it may not end up exactly like this, but um, Anyway, there was a piece of fuzz on him. Pretty, pretty, pretty eyes, little silver eyes, the purple and green combination. So I made a Fred. I'm just gonna pop my bag full of goodies up here and just show them to you out of my bag, okay? I made three little mallards. I have plans to make more mallards this week, different types of mallards, mallard patterns that I've not tried before. I just bought a couple. So not on my focus list. Mallards were on my focus list, but not in particular pattern, but I did make these three small ones. And then I made a duck that's the same, same pattern. I made one um, outer of a bobble Christmas tree. I made one of the Poggy's Place mice. This one I'm gonna leave out and not on a swing. I made five keychain things. They still need keychains, but I'm gonna count them because I'm just probably gonna put them on there tonight. I made one stingray and three ice cream cones. I got chocolate and a purple and a pistachio, I would say. And then I did make one, um, oops, one tumbler and I'll add keychains to all of those. I made two hatching chicks. This is the Louie and Berg pattern. Um, here's one and here's the other. I'm gonna close those up. And then I wrote a mystery pattern for the retreat, which was super fun. And obviously you'll get to see um, a lot of the mystery patterns that people made. And it was, now that they know about it, I can talk about it, but it is, I, I called him the memento monster because everybody got to take like, the memento monster home with them to kind of remember the retreat by. And I may write it up as a, um, as a free pattern or um, release it for just kind of a super low price for y'all. He's nothing fancy, but he's pretty fun. And it's this little monster. I made two of those before I left while I was working on the pattern. This one I did like, I just changed. I just grabbed all the different colors of yarn. I had Burnett in my scrap bin. And I think he turned out cute that way. I mean, this one obviously had a different color on the bottom and then like his mouth. And I didn't change his bobbles, but anyway, cute. He'd be a good scrappy project. Um, I went ahead and wrote down that I'm going to try to sell these for 15. They're a pretty nice size, but they go pretty fast, so... You do have to sew the eyeball on. So that's all the stuff that I made before I left. Wait, it's not all the stuff I made before I left. Hold on. I have to go grab a chompers because I made a chompers, the alligator, and it was too big to fit in my bag and I forgot. Here he is. <laughs> so this is chompers um, by Kay's Crochet Critters. Um, I've made this pattern. This is, I think, the fourth time I've made him. And every time I've made him, I've sold him. So um, this one's out of Burnett. Super cute, this is tie-dye-ish. And then I actually painted these safety eyes on the Refined Vibes Retreat. Super fun. So that's everything I made before I left. And that was $189, which I thought was not bad because there's some weeks I barely make $189 the whole week. 
and it was just Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so it was just four days of my week, and it only included my Sunday part of the weekend, so usually when I give you my Sunday videos, it's my, um, after I film, it's the Sunday stuff that I make that evening, and then it's all day Saturday stuff, so that only included the Saturday evening, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, we left Thursday morning, so I thought that was pretty good for the few days, and then also on my lunch break, I'm making squares and stuff to put on the um, belt bags and the crossbody corduroy bags and stuff, but I'm not going to count them in my inventory until they're on the bags, sewn on, and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and um, talk about the retreat just a little bit um, um, and then show you some of the behind the scenes retreat footage. So um, we went to central Kentucky uh, to the Rough River Lake area. I had never been there before. I just found this place um, on VRBO. And I, the retreat kind of came about because I was looking for something like this to do for myself. I'm like, I need to get away. And like, I just want to get away and crochet though. But like, I didn't really want to get away and crochet by myself. And so I was finding some stuff that people used to kind of do. Um, there was even like some crochet cruises that looked like that people had done before, like which just seems crazy, but they were years ago. And so nobody had anything that I could really find that was recent and close and was just kind of a weekend kind of, you know, getaway kind of thing. I didn't have to take off a whole week or anything. And so I'm like, what if I just plan it? And my husband was like, you are nuts. And I'm like, I know, but he's used to it. So um, I just, I got to trying to see, well, what if, you know, where's the place? How many people do I want? Can I divide that out by this many people? And it makes sense and it's affordable. I had no idea if people would want to come, but I had to just trust that there would be an interest because I couldn't really take reservations and people's money in good faith without actually booking the place first, setting the dates, and having the price set, and having some pictures of the place and the rooms and things like that that people were going to be staying in without actually booking the place, you know, and I didn't want it to be a, hey, you know, let's just say, maybe this retreat's going to happen, you know, kind of thing. I wanted it to be, a, it's booked. I'm going to, I'm going to have faith in it and that it's going to come through. So, um, I thought surely I can find, you know, if I can find 12 people, you know, 10 to 12 people that want to go, um, and I can kind of keep the cost pretty low and then this, it'll work out. And um, he's like, what if you get crazy people? You know, what if you vet it? And I mean, so I kind of had a form um, that I that I developed where people kind of had to fill out. And I did check out people's social media pages and things like that. Some of these people I knew and met or knew and had met online and seen their reels or I had sent messages and I talked to them. Um, I'd actually met a couple of the people um, in person before because they were pretty local. So anyway, so I made it happen. I planned it all. I love to plan stuff like this, actually. It's very fun for me. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, though, there was some anxiousness and some nerves going in. Like, you know, what if people don't get along? What if you get somebody that's super headstrong and just, like, tries to, you know, just make it not fun and makes it, makes it tense? And I'm like, I just really didn't want that for everybody. So, um, and, and I had nothing to worry about. Like, it ended up being amazing so um everybody was fantastic we had the best time we had the best i mean like i reached out to some companies beforehand and we had some amazing sponsorships not sponsorships so much i didn't owe them anything like donations i should say um, i was just like hey would you be interested in donating a door prize or a giveaway or whatever uh something to go you know something to hand out to everybody at this retreat of any kind of value that we would appreciate. And we had some amazing people come through for that, which you will see um, in the in the video and I'll mention at the end and I will put all of their links and everything down in the description below. And it was just amazing that that, that happened. So I will go ahead and piece together um, and insert the footage here of all of the retreat stuff that we did and um, some little sneak peeks into the fun and then I will be right back with you guys to talk a little bit more about what you saw and to talk about what I made while I was there so I'll see you in just a second hey y'all it's retreat day oh my gosh I am so excited I have been planning this for 
five, six months now, and the day is finally here, and I am just wrapping up the final details at the house and just putting, making sure everything is in the car. So I want to show you the current state of my car. Um, keep in mind that <laughs> my overnight bag and then Trista and Tara's overnight bags and yarn bags are not even in here yet. And there is stuff inside. There's a crock pot, a soup pot, um, pitchers, cookies, my yarn basket. There's there's some more stuff inside that still needs to be packed. So I'm going to... Okay, so this is the current state. So there is room. It's just going to be a little snug. I still have to pack the coolers. Um, I just put them in there just to see where they would fit. I think I can turn it a little bit, like turn it this way and then fit something else right in front of it. And then this yarn bag there, that's my big one. These are the stuff I'm going to give away and then there's more giveaways in there. But um, that big one, I can stack Tara's on top of that. I think she's bringing one that same size and then our overnight bags are smaller and they can go right there. And then stuff can go in the second row with Trista if it needs to, but that's the car. I'm excited. It is 8 o'clock. Um, we're leaving here at 10. So um, I have a couple hours to put the final details on, to play with the dog, wrap up stuff at the house, and do what I need to here, and then get on the road. So I will keep you guys updated and try to vlog as much footage as I possibly can so you guys can feel like you came along with us. So we'll catch you later. I don't know you're filming. <laughs> That's why. That's yeah, why. Because then your slip was... stitch isn't like in the way of the, yeah. ball, the ball. Okay. Cool. So
I'm not very camera ready yet this morning. See if I can read my own Michelle. Oh yeah, you like the iCord machine? I've never used them. Yeah, they're nice. So I like. I'm a cute. Dimension. 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 Dimension.
I haven't actually been out here much. It's beautiful. <laughs> Michelle's turning her head. Guys, welcome back. We're here testing the electric gear from Kato. Marvelous, darling, marvelous. Thank you. Or am I supposed to put <laughs> pink, pink lemonade. Ooh, lemonade. look at you yeah, and your bling. Oh, <laughs> it goes right. That, does this make sense? My the fat finger trying to. Hi, I'm Crafty Kate or Caitlin, um, and this is what I made on the retreat. So these are just dragon bodies. They don't have heads. So I made three of those. I made a horny toad, and then two little loaf cats, 
a mystery monster, <laughs> a little brontosaurus, and then two low cats. So cute! So much stuff! Yeah. And you're leaving at two in the morning, so it's like you get ready to pack up. <laughs> Thanks for bed. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Eva from Capsules Creations on Instagram. These are things that I finished on the retreat this weekend. Some were whips and start already. So it's pumpkin candy bowl. It was already started. I got finished. Or hot come up. Thai sissy turtle. Extra large pumpkin pie theme. Also partially done. Just finished them here. A baby Thai sissy turtle. Oh, he's and so baby cute. Bear yard. <laughs> so tiny. Mystery monsters. And I tried new. Uh, Premier, which one was this, Stacey? Parfait Chunky. <laughs> there we go. Parfait yes. Chunky. <laughs> that they donated. Awesome. <laughs> yes, also this new one is sparkly. Uh, almost finished Snowman. Got this little blue duck. Free off of Instagram. This was a whip that I finished here. Like a, like a wing and sewed it together. A little bat. And my little lizard. Cute. So, so much stuff. Yeah. Thank you for a fun weekend, Stacey. Oh, <laughs> thank you for coming. Great. Right. I'm Amy. I'm from San Antonio, and I like to make, oh, finish, didn't finish the, um, <laughs> on there. I like to make little baby sweaters. This one's not quite finished, got to take the arms, but this is what I've been working on on our little crochet retreat. Yes, and it's Amy's birthday. And it's my Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, I'm Heather with Freckled Brunette Creations. Welcome or welcome back to my portion of the YouTube video. <laughs> um, this weekend at our retreat, I made three beanies by Y&B Crochet. I made a skunk and our little, little memory monster by our own Stacy. And I made Hey Hey, um, who is by Crochet Creations by Hey Hey. Cute! Thank you, Heather! This is all the stuff that Trista made while she was here. Got four elephants, three loaf cats, her memento monster, and a snuggle lamb. Awesome! Hi, I'm April from the Cozy Buckeye. It's been so much fun this weekend. <laughs> and I wasn't as productive as I thought because I can't apparently talk and crochet at the same time. And you know. But this is what I got finished. And two cats with my embroidered eyes Beautiful. and buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say butthole? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Stacy's skunk, isn't it cute? With my embroidered eyes. And then I am prepping my, you know, Louis and Berg chickens, you guys. I love these chickens. They sell amazing at the market. So cute. You got five of those? Yeah, five of those. And then I did uh, Stacy's mystery thing. I'm not Monster. Really sure about <laughs> thing. Oh, 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 the eyeballs. Mine kind of looks, you know, like a body part, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. Now that's what we're going to see. <laughs> and the froggy. I used this yarn that changes colors and he's kind of weird on the bottom, but. He's special. You know, he's, he's cute. Cute. He might need a mouth, but. But thank you. I've had so much fun, Stacy. Thank you. Okay. Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm from Kentucky. I had a wonderful time at this crochet retreat. I'm doing some major market prepping for a big market next Friday. I'm also bobble stitch queen. I did some whales. We've got four of those, two stingrays. I think nine possum are here. We did seven frogs. Yes four ducks, then I have eight mushy boys, and we did seven sharks. And then what was fun, we did a mystery pattern. Little monster, had no clue what colors to do, but it turned out great. Had fun, enjoyed it, met some lovely ladies, and I can't wait till the next one. I'm with Faith and Loops Crochet, and I've had a fabulous time. I've done a few things. Um, I made this wonderful bass super fun pattern to make. Um, also made this beautiful cow and this pig. I haven't done the eyes yet, but I'm <laughs> going to be doing it soon. Um, also done this mystery pattern. And <laughs> this one was super fun to do. Um, 
didn't know what colors to do. You just randomly pick, picked it. It was a mystery pattern. And it was so fun because I had no clue what I was making the entire time. I kept joking it was a turkey, but obviously it wasn't. <laughs> um, also got three pickles done. Still need to do the faces. I'm going to make some mean ones too this time. Also done three different sizes of axolotls. I still need to add the details to them, but I'll be doing that later. Um, I've had a super fun weekend. I cannot believe the fun that I've had, and I've met some great people. Thank you so much, Stacy, for putting this all together. I do appreciate it. Thank you. I suppose. Okay. Hi, I'm Brittany with Hope to Be Creations, and I finished the eyeballs on, <laughs> on my great retreat here for my Mama Made Mini Snuggler. I free-handed a bone for the dog to have, and then I took advantage of, of Stacy Makes patterns that she so graciously let us have with a, a little hippo. No, this is the cow. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, you're farm animals, Brittany. <laughs> cow, hippo, and our memento monster. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of free-handed another monster so they could be friends. And then I have half an elephant, which I'll finish. <laughs> And then what, what I gave away was my cauldron cat with a hat. And this is not my pattern, but I can't remember who made it. So mm -hmm. thank you. And thank you to, to Stacy and Tara for a phenomenal weekend. Thank you. Here's the stuff that Toffafe Crochet, Tiffany from Toffafe Crochet, made while she was on the retreat. It's a poinsettia pixie, her memento monster. Her baby Della's from Shop Mod Threads, mm -hmm. and her Charlie the Cow from BK Crochet. So cute! Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Premier. Thank you, Max Carpet that works. Whoop! Da 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 da. Beautiful. Everyone's inside packing up their stuff, helping empty the fridge and do all the trash stuff. And I came to the car with my box of polyfill and <laughs> I, uh, I had such a great weekend. I don't want to go home. Um, these ladies were amazing. I mean, it was, it was everything I could have imagined. <laughs> So this might ruin me if all the all the ones in the future don't don't go like this. This one might ruin me because these ladies were amazing. So thank you guys. I know that you guys thanked me in some of your videos, but thank you guys for coming, for trusting me. You know, like and um, just being great and friendly and just awesome. So I just appreciate you all, and um, you'll forever have a little place in my heart. So. Hopefully we all stay in touch too, and um, I can't wait for the future and see if we guys get together again. It's leaving time. Gonna go home. Peace. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really, at this point, I haven't edited and put this all together, so I really have no idea how much footage, like length of footage that I have. I know that I have lots of pieces of footage, so hopefully it came together and it wasn't too chaotic. Sorry, my yarn is just busting out the cabinets right now. But anyway, 
Um, hopefully it wasn't too chaotic and you guys enjoyed it. Um, will I do it again? Yes, I absolutely will. Um, that was something that I did ask for feedback. Is there anything that you would change and do differently? How far would you be willing to drive? Would you want to come again? Um, you know, at the retreat and, um, and so I'm taking some of that feedback and we need some better lighting, <laughs> maybe a place that has more comfy seats. Cause you know, they ended up kind of having some people that kind of had to sit on the outskirts, which we did have some outdoor seating that was really nice. Um, but, but anyway, I will definitely do it again. Right at this very moment, I am saving some things. Um, actually that was better out, oh, wasn't it? Yeah, because that light. There we go. Sorry, you're just gonna have to see my cabinet half open. Um, but anyway, so I took I'm gonna take that feedback and just this week I'm just I'm trying to nail down the next place and the dates. So I think the we had 14 totals, but we ended up with counting me and Tara. Um, and so that was a nice size to still there were sometimes lots of conversations going on at one time, even in the main room. But everyone kind of wanted to stay together and hang out together pretty close to each other. I mean, some people went off a little bit here and there to their own little quiet spaces. Um, but, but I mean, we, we just, we stayed in, we were actually supposed to go out Friday or Saturday night to Mexican. That was all in the plan. And Saturday came and I was like, guys, I know that, um, I'm like, is everybody, and I said, we'll still go if you all want to go. I'm like, is everybody really looking forward to leaving and going to eat Mexican and coming back? Like it's 20 minutes away, 20 minutes back plus, you know, an hour and a half there, whatever, it's going to be a two and a half hour adventure. Or would you guys all want to stay, eat the leftovers, because there was plenty of food left over, and just eat the leftovers and just stay in and chill some more and get to talk to each other. And pretty much everybody voted to stay inside. I mean, like, and the people who didn't vote to stay were like, I'll do either. Like, I mean, kind of looking forward to Mexican food, but definitely wouldn't mind staying here either. So um, that was awesome. I'm like, this would be the crowd to ask if you don't, you just want to stay inside some and crochet some more. So that's what we did. And then I told them, I think what I would, I would definitely add another day, maybe even, um, I felt like we had just really gotten to know each other, really gotten comfortable and settled in spots and stuff. And then, you know, you just, and it just flew by so fast and it was like, it was over. So I'm like, maybe next time it'll be Wednesday to Sunday instead of Thursday to Sunday. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And when I do have that all nailed down, organized and um, ready to go, I will obviously be releasing a registration form for that. So hopefully in the next month you will see that and it will be probably in February or March of next year. So I want to do it in the spring because I don't have very many spring shows um, and I don't want to get too close to summer and the end of school. So, okay, so enough of that. Um, I'm sure that I inserted some little thank yous for some of the do donation sponsors. Um, excuse me, I have hiccups. But I do want to mention all of them just so that I don't make sure, you know, don't forget anybody. So Lumos, um, lights, donated a light, a neck light. Uh, Premier sent a huge box of Parfait Chunky. <laughs> A yarn Inspirations sent a Twist and Lock um, hook, Susan Bates hook set, plus a yarn, like a yarn bag, like a travel yarn bag. Max Carpet Bag Works donated eight amazing crochet slash knitting hook cases that were awesome. Um, Addy, which like Addy Knitting Machines, Skasel, donated their brand new line of crochet hooks that just came out, and I won't be able to say it, so I'm sure earlier I put the name on the screen when you actually saw some of them being used, but... um with like a wood, a really neat wood handle and a metal, um, it's a tapered hook. Uh, in size six, everybody got one of those. It was nice, so that was the one thing it was doing. Everybody got one. Um, Java Socks sent some Java Socks, which me and Tara both always love. They're, they're very, the largest size of Java Sock. Fits the McDonald's cup, the largest McDonald's cup, so great. And it keeps it cold and without sweating. Uh, Valari uh, donated a pillow, which was awesome. That was the first thing to go. Um, and it went to someone who, um, Amy got it and she had to fly home. So she didn't want to unvacuum seal it. So I didn't get a chance to use it. But, um, and then Cato donated an electric yarn winder, which we got out and we did use that and an I-cord um, machine. And then I had some merch. I'm working on some merch into a store and I wanted to try out the quality of some of the stuff. So I had a couple sweatshirts and a couple mugs there. 
So I think that was all of the donated things. Um, if I did forget somebody, I'm going to, I'm sure see it in the footage and be really sad that I did so. But if I did, I will put it down here in the bottom of the screen and I will make sure to put everybody's uh, links to their websites and things down in the description below because I am so thankful for that. That made it, nobody was expecting that and that just gave it a little extra fun. Um, so that was awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you for making the retreat have just a little bit of extra excitement in it. And we drew names um, several times a day, two, two or three people at a time. And everyone got to go around twice. So everybody got to go home with two things from the door price thing. And so that was just super fun. So let's get on to what I made while I was at the retreat. Um, so I'm going to bring my chair over that has all my projects on it so I can show you. This is um, my another Fred the Turtle, except for this one is Birch and Baby Pink. I painted these eyes on the retreat and then used them, and they are really pretty, like orange gold, rose gold. Oh, they're so pretty. So I made a Fred. I made, this is the Memento Monster that I made while everyone else was making theirs. I was working on one to kind of show them. Um, you know, how to line up the arms and stuff, because they had no idea what they were making when they did it. So that was fun. So I need another memento monster. I made these, this little bee is Poggy's Place pattern. And then this little duck is a free pattern on Instagram. Got a posh. I made four swinging things, all different. I made I don't know why that wants to tip forward. I can get him perfectly balanced. I made the Cardinal from Poggy's Place. I made the Pocket Frog from Steph's Stitches and put him on a swing. I made Dax the Duck by Endless Yarn. Put him on a swing, or he's on a swing. She's a free Instagram pattern. And then the Mouse by Poggy's Place and I put it on his swing as well. So I made four swinging animals. I made two Pepper the Skunks, which are my pattern. I did take a couple of my patterns and like paper copies of them and threw them in a folder and several people made Pepper while they were there. It was fun to see their renditions of Pepper. So there's Pepper. I made two hatching chicks while I was there. These look obviously a little different than the other ones because I didn't have my fluffy yarn so I was trying out some different tops. <laughs> and the embroidered black eyes on these do not show up very well but they are there. And then I made four rubber ducks. I made three yellow ones. Oops, if I can get a hold of them all. And one light blue one. Out of Nana's hook nook pattern. So, super, super fun stuff. Um, that was a total on the retreat. I made a total of 249 dollars worth of inventory in the days that we were there, which I barely crocheted it all on the first day of Thursday because we got there and had to set everybody up and then all evening people were arriving off and on. Um, I think I might have finished two of the rubber ducks that first day and that was it. And then the other days it was just off and on between cooking and stuff. It was so fun. So a total between, and actually on the retreat I did make a dachshund, which um, I'll put a little snippet in here if I haven't already, uh, but it went into the plushie exchange that we did. And so it was given away. <laughs> and um, so that was a total for the week of $438. And that was still just Sunday to Sunday. I didn't crochet at all actually yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, so it was really just Sunday to Saturday, um, I did, which I never do crochet before my videos. So it's always Sunday to Saturday. So that, that's a normal full week for me. So I was really excited because, you know, a couple weeks ago, um, I did, I had a $520 week. And I mean, I thought I'm never going to do that again. And then last week, I only had a $251 week for like half. And um, and then we had a show and I sold lots of things and I was really starting to freak out. And then this week, I was able to have a $438 week. So that should bring my inventory total up um, to over $3,000. And then I have this, my our show, which I'm thinking will be the biggest show we've ever done from what I've heard from other people, which I really hope I'm not getting my hopes up, um, but is a week from Friday. It's November the 8th and 9th, and it's in Springfield, Illinois. So um, I will have all this week, the weekend, and all of the next week up till we pack up, you know, 
Thursday to, to leave out on Friday to make what I can to take to that market. So in the background, I'm making squares to put on bags. So there will be a week, I don't know if it'll be this week or next week, where I will be putting a bunch of squares, hopefully on the bags and sewing them all together. So that, um, and that'll be a pretty big chunk of inventory to take. And then I would like to sew some burp cloths in the girl colors. Maybe not this week, but next, I don't know which week. So for inventory as well, so that I have some sewn stuff too. So that over 3,000 does not include my burp cloth inventory. So I think that's all I have guys this week. I, um, I am, I may look tired. It's Monday night. I work today. Um, and I just got home and it's starting to get kind of dark outside, but, um, I really did feel rested and reset when I came home. I mean, it, the ladies made it the least amount of work and I, I was going to need handbrakes anyway. And so I tried to make the meals as easy as possible, but nice so that they weren't just, you know, they weren't playing every day and hopefully everyone enjoyed all the food and, um, and which the feedback they gave me to my, to my face was that they did, but you know, <laughs> um, but anyway, so hopefully, yes, we'll do the retreat again. Um, yes, I should have some information out again soon. And I really, um, appreciate everybody who came and trusted me with, um, with this retreat and you know, you've taken off days of work for some of you, you spent money, some of you flew in, some of you, you know, this was a lot of money for you to spend on a getaway for yourself. And it meant a lot to me that you spent it on that. And from what I gathered at the retreat, you were happy with it. And that makes me happy. And, and I had a great time. So, I mean, it was just as much for me as it was for all of you. And so I just, I had a great time. I just, I'm ready to go again. Like, can we do it every month, please? <laughs> like, why do we not do this more often? But anyway, so it was great. Um, I don't have much more to add. I'm going to work this week and I should be back next Sunday on my regular scheduled day with what I made and was able to make this week, which probably won't be an amazingly large number just because I didn't crochet at all yesterday because I unpacked and I got home and I had stuff everywhere and the kids had missed me and the dog missed me and and um, so I had I did did mom things and then tonight I probably won't get to crochet at all either because I will be editing so um, I'm gonna miss a couple days in there but and the kids have a couple appointments this week so um, it might be a light week for me but I'm gonna do what I can and um, I will catch you guys later if you liked this content like this video subscribe to this channel I would be so grateful um, join me again every week. We talk about what I made or we recap a market or we go over new patterns, something like that. It was just, we have fun and we sit down and we, um, we gab together and actually it's together, but you know, you guys gab down in the comments and I reply and I appreciate that. I love talking to you guys down in the comments. So leave me a comment and let me know if, um, what you thought about what I made, what my favorite thing was that I made on this this week or at the retreat and we will talk to you guys next time um have a great week and happy crocheting guys we'll see you bye